All right, guys, I'm going to be executing a short on uh, DAO. So let me pull this up. And I'll just go blindly. Oh, let me load the paper trading in here. Well, more than blindly, just like that. And my stop is going to be placed at the beginning of this gap, which I'm thinking is going to be a breakaway gap. And my take profit is going to be below this low. The reason behind this trade idea, let me show it. It's we already have SMT in here, and as you can see, I think this for value gap will do its job. This one failed, creating equal eyes, and this is technically the weaker of the three or the weakest. In this scenario, I want to be sure the weakest, right? Because it does make sense. You don't want to be short here, or if you want to be shorting the NASDAQ, you have to do it at external range liquidity. This one has already filled its range, and this one doesn't have to do anything extra. So all of this is going to be a break away gap. Do I like trading like this with live money? Absolutely not. I'm just showing that we can forecast these moves, but the risk to reward, it can be still tight because at the end of the day, this is going to be more than a three risk to reward, right? Because I'm risking 130 to make 450. But what's the issue here? You don't have your stop loss in a place which can really be considered safe. That's what I don't like about this trade. But at least we have some relative strength playing, uh, doing the work for us. And I'm just going to quickly highlight the SMT in here. This went higher and this went definitely higher, but this is all I'm caring about right now. The weaker, when we go into the daily, we can see what happened. Study here, we have a low, lower low, breaker on the other side is being used. So that's a bullish PDA now pretty basically failing. And we have a CB. This CB, I don't think it hit consequent encroachment. Let me quickly check. Uh, no, it didn't. But since there's this level right here, it's not needed. So we'll keep monitoring it this one. And yeah stop is correct let me add execution unless the chart is too blurry not too choppy whatever also what's this it's a market maker sell model where the smart money reversal has the smt signature okay now, this is the opening. It can either be extremely volatile to one direction or choppy. Like the open usually doesn't have anything in between. It's either trending a lot or chopping a lot. So far, it looks like we've been in the choppy range and it is what it is. It will sometimes happen. Then you can see these down candles before they move higher. This is gonna be mitigation on the other side of the curve, meaning that this range in here is going to be important to see mitigation of whatever lungs they built in here. They're going to mitigate it in here. And what's doing the majority of the job to me is relative strength. I can see EURUSD selling off, meaning Dixie is going higher. And we can quickly see there, here, see? Bullish order block, probably gap, order block here, going higher, SMT. These eyes are next. Okay. We go back to it. We can see the reaction. And as you can see, it's only one contract, so I will not be taking anything off. I will wait for this to deliver. 
We have some laws in here, but I don't care. Now study this. This is important. Notice how strong this is. Going higher and higher. Turtle soup, perfect. And this one is just selling off. So even if you are bullish on indices, being long on this one will make sure you will lose your hair. <laughs> Put it simply. Instead, if you went for a long on Nasdaq and then Nasdaq eventually sells off, at least in this move right here, it's beautiful, right? Because you have the complete closure of this imbalance. You can justify a stop down here pretty easily. And to the high, it's a beautiful 2R. It's a beautiful 2R. I have to check Dixie because I'm managing a, a Kai, managing a U short. Perfect. And we'll see how this one goes. Now, we have a an imbalance in here with an order block. The fact that we used it here, now on the other side, let me see if it's visible on the M15 as well. Yeah, then we will refine it on the M5. No big deal. And it's roughly the same. That's good. I don't want to see this one right here hitting it and then staying above it. I want to see the close, the body being close below and then maybe retest it. But since we are this close, I don't think we even need the retest. We can just go lower and also monitoring consequent encroachment of this week, which so far is giving some bounce. Not good to see. But let's not let's also not forget to cycle through the time frames. We have this imbalance right here, so that's a perfect short again. And now my stop can be just right here at 37, because I'm calculating the spread as well. This is going to be institutional or the flow into drill. Since it's not that big, it can potentially hit the other block. I don't care. The stop is safe up here. I'll mark it, different color. Let's see how it behaves. Move lower, good to see. And now at this point, I can do the oh, I can take a partial down here. And yeah, I'll do it. Let me just check the settings. Okay, there is no instant order, so I'll click on close. Wait for the move lower. Now we're hitting the same level. going through study the other assets moving lower as well and it's not going to be too precise but roughly there and there we are it closed exactly it closed up here I, I could imagine it I clicked when it was down there but what can I do now I can remove I can decrease my stop even more to consequent encouragement of this imbalance we are now dealing inside of it, taking the low with the wick, not with the body. So I'd like to see some range expansion now. And if it reclaims this down candle, ah, it's not so good anymore. But so far we hit this level and think about the swing. Equal eyes, run up, bearish break here and here, and it's moving lower flawlessly. All right, time to zoom out. I'm going to highlight the sell side liquidity pool I'm looking for. Let's also make it visible on other time frames like the H1 and H2. 
And yeah, I'm aiming for this swing low. Study the delivery in here. This is also an old volume imbalance that you can see in here. Price moving flawlessly. And at this point, my stop can really be trailed down here. The reason for that is we had a move lower with a wick. We came back up. We broke it down. So really, if the market wants to go higher and completely destroy this run, run here, it will need to go through this immediate rebalance, potentially. But it, that's going to happen like in two minutes. And it needs to go through this level, which has been respected in here. So in that case, my thinking is this low is all we needed for the for the reversal, and we don't care about this low, which to me doesn't make much sense. Because if there's this one and this one, just take both, you know. And the only thing I could argue against is we already took stops here, so this order block is more likely to have a little bit of a bounce, especially since we moved a lot. Am I claiming that I know exactly where the market will go? Absolutely not. It's another small for value gap in here, which we will highlight. And for a in a perfect market, this will not be breached. The bodies will stay within the range. Ideally, it doesn't even fill it, and it just goes lower. And 9:30. I want to showcase the first 15 minutes chop and then the market after 15 minutes 15 to 30 minutes it tends to deliver a little bit better Now, ES can actually go and fill this imbalance completely, and ES going lower is going to allow Dow to run below its sell side liquidity pool. So, this is what I'm monitoring right now. And NASDAQ will potentially go into this area because what's this? It's a breaker. So I don't think it needs to go all the way down here. If it does, I don't think it's bullish at all. Not bullish at all. Also, one thing I don't like about price action is when we are close to a liquidity pool and the market chops around just before it. In my head, the quicker it gets there, the better. At the same time, the quicker it goes there, the more likely we are to reverse. Okay? Meaning that a fast move into a key level is always the best kind of entry for... Uh, you want to be fading that one. Because when it's dropping quickly or rising quickly, nobody wants to participate on the other side and everybody's chasing that, which will give smart money the opportunity to take the other side. And here's the trade completed. Um, 
the engineer was sloppy my stop was up here or whatever it was and everything went well m1 imbalances were perfectly respected we traded the weakest and flawless so hope you hope this video was insightful for you and see you on the next one bye bye